This is arguably one of the most creative takes on the slasher genre in the past 20 years. It is innovative. It is creative. It is risk-taking. It is daring. It is ballsy. It takes all the chances. But it is boring as fuck. Now, we all wonder, particularly horror fans, what would a movie be like from Jason's point of view, from Michael's point of view? We all wondered that. Like, what would it be? And we know the answer now. And that's not a movie I want to see anymore because we got this shit. Arguably frustrating as fuck, too, because this motherfucker just walks and walks and walks. And I get it. I get it. You're trying to immerse us into his POV. Like, you're trying to make us accountable for what is happening on the screen, which is why you linger on certain shots way too heavily. And I get it. But it's not executed properly. Except Yoga Girl. Because she was executed drastically. God damn. Anyone in this movie got it the worst. That was probably one of the most out of pocket. Out of control scenes I've seen in the past two years. And I'm including the alley scene from Terrifier 2. This movie would have worked way better as a 30 minute 45 minute short. Because I feel like this actually kind of came from a short. This came from like a movie short that this dude had. And then he just decided to blow it up and said, you know what? Let's just add more bullshit of him walking. And then we got us off a movie. I feel like that's, that's exactly what it is. Because there's only really 45 minutes worth of narrative in this fucking movie. And this movie gives you really big chunks throughout the movie from his perspective. <clears throat> And if we flip it from the other side, the story and the picture would have been much more clearer. But we get big chunks of his origin, his story, and why he came back. Those are only the three things we need to know about this character. Also, one more thing, but that's really more through his actions than anything. And I don't want to spoil it just in case you do go see it. Because you're going to see... You're going to see it. It's, it's very noticeable when it comes to him. I was bored. I was falling asleep the first 10 minutes of this movie. I was falling asleep. Trying to keep myself up, man. I did not rock with this movie. I thought this was a movie that was... I think this movie is overhyped. I think everyone on here is saying, Oh yeah, the kill's are hella uh, creative. No, there's only really one creative kill in this fucking movie. Let's just be real. You're overselling this movie. Stop overselling this movie. Stop. Just because you want to see indie horror movies win, but it should be good indie horror movies that win. Not every indie horror movie. There is a difference, people. Like, let's push good indie horror movies. Like, I don't think this is a good movie. Mainly because we're in his fucking point perspective. If this movie was flipped, it probably would not have been a much better slasher movie. But I understand the point that we're from his point of view. We're in his shoes. We're seeing what he's seeing. We're thinking what he's thinking. We are feeling what he's feeling. We are doing what he's doing. This is an, an immersive fucking movie. And I understand that. But you spend a majority of the time <laughs> walking and it just doesn't work. Like, cut that shit down, dude. Cut that shit down. This movie should have been fucking 45 minutes. <laughs> 45 max. Because the movie is over as soon as he meets the sheriff. That's the movie. You can tell that I am not a fan of this movie. 